protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com Well, the Senate voted overwhelmingly today to ban the use of torture. Never again will prisoners be subjected to waterboarding or rectal feeding or other extreme and brutal interrogation practices that we have been exposed to now. This was in a 78-21 vote. Lawmakers on both sides of the aisle supported an amendment to the National Defense Authorization Act. They're going to limit the entire U.S. government to the interrogation and detention techniques that are outlined in the Army Field Man Manual. This, this measure is also going to require the government to update the Army Field Manual every three years, make sure it's, it's complying with U.S. law and reflects current evidence-based best practices for interrogation. And it's also going to require that the International Committee of the Red Cross be allowed prompt access to anyone that is detained by the U.S. government. So that's very interesting because what about people that are being detained right here in the United States without trial indefinitely? Alex? Thank you, Leanne. Finally tonight, I want to talk about something that is so bone-chilling, I personally have trouble believing it. But as a news hound on air for 20-plus years, I know that this, quite frankly, is just part of the landscape of our country. We've all read about third-world countries and ancient medieval times when you would be thrown into a dungeon and forgotten about and grow a big, long beard, living off scraps of food shoved under the door. But that doesn't happen in America today, does it? Well, the truth is, it does. And under the whole police state launched after 9-11, we were told that even American citizens overseas could be disappeared into ghost sites or black sites, and that torture was a good thing to get confessions. Well, now Senator Ted Cruz and Rand Paul have come out last week and called for an end of indefinite detention for citizens in terror-related cases. And that's all fine and dandy, but what about for U.S. citizens in the U.S. who've done nothing but be under suspicion of a DWI or suspicion of Medicare or Medicaid fraud or suspicion of stealing a backpack. These are just three cases of thousands that are on record. Currently, thousands of people are estimated by Amnesty International and others to be in U.S. jails and prisons without trial in some cases, for more than eight years. Let's look at three cases right now. I've interviewed the lawyers for Dr. Charles T. Sell, a successful dentist in St. Louis. The New York Times reported on it back in 2002. I first talked to his lawyers years before that. He spent more than 15 years in prison because when the feds came and said that he was guilty of Medicare and Medicaid fraud, he said, you're crazy. They said, no, you're crazy because he wouldn't cop a plea. The feds have a 98% conviction rate. And he was locked up again for more than 15 years total until he, quote, agreed to take drugs to treat his psychiatric condition. Once he did that, it destroyed his brain to where he couldn't even testify. And then they kept him in prison. Here's the New York Times. Jailed man fights efforts to medicate him for trial. There you go. Let's continue. Here's another article. This is out of NBC News. Man left in solitary confinement for two years gets $15.5 million settlement. You notice these people are ever every race, color, and creed. He had to pull his own tooth. He was in solitary confinement and basically went insane and is still basically mentally ill to this day. He was pulled over in Donna Anna County and taken to jail. He was never given a trial and put in solitary confinement for two years. This is all admitted. We're just giving you a few case point examples. Here's one that just came out in the last year. Khalif Broder, who died this year, he just committed suicide in 2015. They'd written about his story in 2014. New Yorker Magazine and others have broken it down. He had no criminal record. They accused him of stealing a backpack. They had no proof. He wouldn't plead guilty. 
So they kept him for three years inside Rikers Island, one of the roughest prisons in the world. And the videos have been released now in the lawsuit of him being beaten on an almost daily basis by the inmates because the guards basically let him do it. The guards choking him, beating him for no reason because he was peaceful and wasn't violent. And he was so mentally shattered after three years, no charges, no trial, no nothing, he committed suicide just last week. Those are three cases to humanize this. This is going on all across America where extrajudicially this type of stuff is happening. Take what's happening with the family courts. They've been set up in the last hundred years as eugenics courts where the CPS can take your children if your 11-year-old is seen by neighbors playing basketball at 5.30 p.m. in the backyard. That happened just last week. Or if you let your kids camp out in the backyard in tents, something I did many times with friends over. They claim that's neglect. Or your 10-year-old's caught playing in the park across the street. They can frame anything as neglect. It's up to their discretion and take your children away. I'm not demonizing even the bureaucrats of the system. This has been set up centrally by the social engineers, and then the governments locally are following the orders via the federal money. If you want to know who's to blame, look in the mirror, as V says, Know that we need to get angry, we need to learn our rights, and take our county and city and state governments back. The globalists are number one afraid of us taking our counties and cities and states back because they know that will be the legitimate government system that no one can argue with to say no to the federal government itself that's been taken over. All right, that's it for this edition of InfoWars Nightly News. Realize that other political prisoners are languishing in jails all over the place without trials and that they use Guantanamo and stuff as a distraction from what's happening here. I say shut down Guantanamo, shut all these black sites down today because they legitimize the idea of what's currently already going on. The IRS can take your house without a judge or a jury. They're already saying cash is illegal without a law. Tyranny is really taking the gloves off right now and it's time we take the gloves off politically as well. And in closing, I want to tell all the bureaucrats and enforcers and others out there something. We're going to lose everything if this tyranny keeps growing. The bottom's falling out right now. Everybody can feel the danger, not just intellectually see it. Let's stand up and reform our society. Let's do the right thing and admit that giving government and corporations limited power was a bad idea. It's a bad idea now. It's a bad idea in the past. It'll always be a bad idea. All right, that's it. You've seen the facts. Check them out for yourself. I'll be back on the radio tomorrow, 11 a.m. Central, with the worldwide syndicated broadcast and the nightly news. I'll be back here in 23 hours tomorrow night on Wednesday. Never forget, if you're watching this transmission, you are the resistance. The knowledge of the ancients, tried and true, trusted herbs and extracts fused with the latest nutraceutical science. Introducing the all new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. For the last two years, our team has been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to develop the ultimate nutraceutical formulation. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. For a limited time, get 25% off on this introductory offer. Visit ancientdefense.com or call 888-253-3139. Ancientdefense.com. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.